Hello friends, welcome to the part 16 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be working on the login form and the login functionality. So, like I mentioned before, I will not be creating the HTML manually. So, for the login form, I have found this nice website where you can get snippets. Okay, so I will use this snippet for both my login and registration form. You can copy the HTML code from here starting from the main tag here you don't need the navigation bar because we have that uh, already created so you copy the content from here till here and also the css i have that already stored in my notes and i'll uh, copy it from there so here is my login template i'll simply replace this with my login form it's, it's the same thing. I simply uh, replaced, I'm going to show you, replaced this me tag with uh, my uh, div. Okay. This is my login form class, which is there. And there should be container, not container. Make sure you change that here. And for the component. CSS file or SCSS file, you simply copy all of it from here and paste it in your component. Okay, you can leave the import if you want, but I I copied everything from my form till here, till form.row. Okay, that's there. So now if you check your to do front, it says, okay, so I created couple of functions here as you can see I have given the this form tag a template variable which is mapped to the ng form directory this is the forms this is imported from the forms module so make sure you have the forms module present in your app module and then in the ng submit event I am declaring a function so I need to declare this function in my TypeScript file and I'm passing this login form as a parameter and for every input i have two inputs so first input i gave it a name of username because that's the name uh, my backend is expecting and you have also used the ng model directory here similarly for password i used name password and ng model okay and i made both of these as required and for the button i I am using the uh, disabled. I am binding the disabled property with the login form dot invalid state. So if the login form is invalid, my button will be disabled. And the way it is, it is uh, the the way the login form can become invalid is when either of these values are not set. Okay. So with that, I mean, that's there. I'll go ahead and create this method in the TypeScript file. And this login form is a, is a type of ng form which you need to import from Angular forms here. Okay. And we also need to inject our API service because the login method is present there only. API service here. Uh, in the ng on init, first of all, I want to check if this API service dot uh, get or token JWT token dot value. I can't access the value here. I need to subscribe or I'll simply say this dot API service dot. JWT is a token dot subscribe. I'll get a token. If token is there, so that means my user is already authenticated. So I'll simply use, uh, I need to also use the router here. I will router router or angular router i'll send the user to the front end 
without bothering about authentication. Okay, and in the login method, I'll say if my login form is still invalid and somehow you managed to come here to this method maybe using developer tools or some some other way still if it's invalid i'll simply return it so this is a nice check you can always do here otherwise some some hacker may simply use the developer tools and bypass your uh, validation the front end validation so I'll extract the username and password from the login form dot value parameter property and I'll call the API service to log me in with my username and password. And this method is not returning anything because I don't have a return statement here. After I do that, I'll simply go to my login form and reset it. Whether the login is successful or not, I don't care. I will simply reset it. Okay. Let's test it. And I go to my front end. Okay. I see my login form already created. Register is still empty. I'll go to Mario and the password and I log in. Nothing happened or not? Okay, it's blocked by the course policy. Let me go to my uh, front end or or back end rather to do API new window and in my course policy. Where is it? Uh, I, I haven't defined the codes here. Let's use it. Enable course and origin will be an array http localhost 4200 save it let's see it restarted and here are no errors so if i go back hit refresh and hit login Okay, I got something here if you see, um, but the problem is that I forgot to import the CSS file here or toaster. Import toaster toaster.css. Save it uh, and and if you refresh, you see. I'm not getting redirected because I have a token here in my local host. So if I remove this token and I refresh, now I go back to the login page. Now if I hit login, I get this nice, uh, what do you call, notification message. And there is my to do. Okay, but this is still not happening. And for that, uh, not this one, this is my API. I can close this. And uh, my login is working fine. But in my app component here, I'm still not making this as false. To do that, I will simply go to my constructor and inject the API service as API service. And I'll implement the on init interface. For that, I need to define the ng on init method here. And here, I'll simply go to API service uh, token, subscribe to it, and this will give me a token. And if there is a token, I want to decode it. So to do that, I'll use the uh, JWT decoded package that I uh, import JWT decode from JWT decode. Okay, so I'll use this function 
and it takes the token here. This will decode the token and give me the payload. So this dot username equals to decoded dot username. Okay, and I'm gonna create field here. Right, string private. Okay, TypeScript is not the TypeScript did not like that uh, decoded variable, so I declared it as any. Now, if the username is present, so what I will do, I'll say the show menu is false. Else, show menu is true, and that's it. Here, I'll also declare a logout method because I will have the logout button there. So I'll simply set the username to an empty string, and this start username. Oh no, let's see. So. What happened? Okay. Now, here in my app component.html, this menu will be shown based on my login state. So it says, Welcome, Tom, automatically. Hit this. Uh, this does nothing. Oh, because I did not, I never called the this dot uh, API service dot logout. Okay, save, go back, click here. Nothing happens. Let's check the console. I go here, I see the Logout function it's not removing, not navigating me to the login page, no, it's doing anything. Why is that? This start username. The token is never getting deleted and what is it? So let me go here and remove the token manually and hit refresh. I go to the front page. Log in with Tom. So Mario, okay. Problem here is one one little change I need to make should not be Tom, should be username. Refresh. Welcome Mario. I want it to be title case. This is a pipe. Welcome Mario. It this nothing happens. This is strange. Okay, I know why. Because uh, my logout icon doesn't have a click event. Is not logging me out. It save, go back here. There you go. I'm logged out. Small mistake, but this is how you troubleshoot and debug. Now, if I hit go to another user, let's say Tom, and hit login, login successful. I get two to do's from Tom, and he can also log out. I can try any random ID uh, that will say. Uh, HTTP failure response unauthorized. I, I'm not. I'm not capturing any failure responses. So let's do that quickly in the API service here in the login method. So subscribe error. Let's quickly send a to send a uh, toast notification. Uh, error. Okay. Authentic failed try again and uh, no title 
and a timeout of maybe 700 milliseconds okay save it go back to the front end give it any wrong credentials and hit login authentication failed let's say one second okay getting away too fast so now you type mario animal at one two login successful perfect our login functionality is working fine you can also log out from here and, and that's it next time we will in the next video we will work on the registration functionality and that will be quite similar to this one and i hope you will enjoy that as well so till then please uh, stay tuned with me like like this video subscribe uh, subscribe to my channel share it with your friends if you have any comments put that in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next part thank you have a good day